Dozer, um, half of Bull and Dozer at the zoo, um, and he actually was someone's pet. Him, um, he was someone's pet. This is one of the ones that I like to talk about. Turtles and tortoises do not make good pets. Not only they, could they live 75 years or, or longer, they require a lot of care. You can't go and take an animal from a pond, try and make it your pet, look at it, research it, and then release it back into the pond. If that animal is sick, it can um, make the entire population of turtles sick. If you bring a turtle um, from the pet store and try and release it into the wild, it might not have any of their natural instincts, so it would not know what to do in the winter time. Uh, you might not know exactly where that turtle is found and bring it to the wrong spot. If you find a turtle in the middle of the road, in the middle of the summer, it's probably going to lay her eggs or she's done laying her eggs. You never want to approach a turtle, especially if you don't know what kind it is. Turtles don't have teeth, they have a beak. A beak that could break your finger and latch on. If it's in the middle of the road and you have no other choice to bring it, you don't want to bring it back where it came from, even if it looks safe back there. Turtles have a homing device and they usually go to the same place to lay their eggs every year. So if it's facing this way, you want to bring it that way. Um, turtles that live in the water have a flat, smooth, um, nice stream, a streamlined shell. Dozer here has a high dome shell. He does not live in the water. Um, if I put him in the water, he would sink. And a lot of tortoises that live on land, especially ones like um, Dozer here, African sulcata tortoises, they'll store water in that shell um, to use in times of hardship. Tortoises that live on land are only herbivores. They might eat some fruit, they might eat a couple insects. Dozer here can live to be 100, and he can grow to be about 200 pounds. He's the third largest tortoise in the world. 